Hey everybody, Tracy here from Inspiration Cards and I'm here with our last card for this month's Stampin' Jammies online card class featuring the Timeless Tulip Stamp Set. Excited to get started and share this last card with you, so let's get started. So here's our last card. Of course, we've got our pear pizzazz in here. And along with the pear pizzazz, I've also thrown in a little bit of crumb cake and some Calypso coral for our tulips. So what you'll need, or what you should have left, is a nice large piece of pear pizzazz cardstock, along with a piece of crumb cake. And just a little smaller than that is a piece of very vanilla along with two smaller pieces of pear pizzazz and very vanilla. So to get us started, as always, I always like to start by folding my card bases in half. So I'm gonna do that here and just grab my bone folder. There we go. Get that nice, crisp, clean fold. And then I'm gonna grab my large piece of very vanilla cardstock. And this is where our tulips are going to come in. So to start, I'm going to stamp, just like I did with the other cards, I'm going to stamp the blooms first. And then the stems and leaves will come in after the fact. So in one of my previous cards, I showed you a little bit of masking. So I'm actually gonna do that a little bit here as well. It's a really easy thing to do and really helps to make sure that you don't get a lot of overlap with your images. So I'm just gonna place that one down. So that's the medium sized tulip there. So I'm just gonna gently tap my large tulip onto my Calypso Coral ink pad, and that's gonna go just here off to the side. There we go. And before I stamp my next one, I'm gonna make sure I tuck my mask back into place. And again, just gently tap that stamp onto the ink pad and that's gonna go here, just a little bit off center. There we go. And I'm gonna do one more over here, just off to the side with my mask. So there we go. <clears throat> and here's our final large tulip. So just like that. There we go. So you can see there's a little bit of space, a little bit of that stamped image that's missing, but that's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna grab our medium sized tulip now and just firmly press that onto my acrylic block. And again, same idea. So just taking your stamp and gently tapping that onto your ink pad now this is where the photopolymer stamp sets really come in handy so you can see through and just about perfectly line up where the mask was. There we go. And we need one more on this side here. There we go. So you don't have any overlap between, between our stamped images here. So I'm gonna add one more into this here. And that's the, the smallest tulip, our little bud. So there we go. And again, same thing with our Calypso Coral ink. Really like how the Calypso Coral just pops. And you'll see that especially once we get into the the pear pizzazz and the crumb cake layers. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna pull in our pear pizzazz. And I always like to start with, our, with my stems. So just lining that up. And with the photopolymer, as I've said before, the nice thing is, is you can curve it, straighten it out. So you can really shape 
the photopolymer stamps just about any way you want, especially when they're skinny like this guy here. So just like before, gently tap onto the ink pad. I don't need the full stamp inked, which is why I'm only partially inking up the stamp. There we go. And we'll have a little bit of overlap here. Now you could also, if you wanted to, make a mask with the stems. I don't, I don't find the overlap with the stems quite as big a, a thing as with the tulips. Because with the tulips, you really want to see those stamped images and the depth and the lines that you get from, from the distinctive um, stamps. So that's why I use a mask with that guy there. All right, so we've got our stems. So now I'm gonna pull in our leaves. So I'm gonna use the two different ones. So I'm gonna start with this curvy guy here. And just ink that up. And apparently I need to press a little more firmly onto my block. I think this guy needs a good clean and I'm sticky again. There we go. All right. Take two. All right. And just towards the bottom. There we go. And we'll do another one on this stem here. And I'm going to do one more with this guy. And then I'm going to swap out my leaf. All right, so I'm gonna grab, out, grab the other leaf. So this one's a little skinnier and a little straighter. So there we go, just like that on my block. And just add in our leaves. And I'm just making sure that the end of the leaf is touching the stem. And one of the nice bonuses of the photopolymer is you can see right through and you can make sure that that happens. All right. Now the last piece, while I set this aside to dry, is our small piece of very vanilla. And I thought with Mother's Day coming up in just a couple of weeks, that we could turn this into a Mother's Day card. So here we go. I'm just gonna swap out the leaf on that block there. Yeah. And to tie in the crumb cake card stock that I've got for the card mat, I'm gonna use the crumb cake ink for this phrase here. And that's going to go right in the center, just like that. All right, and so our stamping is done. And I'm going to grab our elements here so we can start sticking this all together. All right, so here's our stamp and seal. So whether it's a tape runner or some liquid glue or whatever it is that you use, stick on your card mat. There we go. I'm gonna put that in place there like that. And again, just pulling in the colors from the crumb cake cardstock. I'm gonna grab a little bit of one of my favorite go-tos is my linen thread. So I'm gonna grab a nice stretch because I want it to wrap around our piece of very vanilla. You'll have yours already there pre-cut. 
So I'm just going to give that a cut. My other one seems to have disappeared. But that's okay. All right, here we go. So I'm going to line this up where I want to tie my bow. There we go. And once I get that sorted out, there we go. So I'm going to have my bow right about here. Okay, so I'm not going to pull it too tight just yet. This is where the spatula tool from the Take Your Pick tool comes in really handy, especially if you don't have multiple hands. All right, I'm just going to scoop up a glue dot. And this is where I want my knot and my bow to go. So that's just going to get stuck right there. And peel off the paper. And now that I've got my glue dot in place, I can shuffle my linen thread a little bit. There we go. And now I can tie my bow without worrying about the other piece. There we go. So just a little bow, nothing big. There we go. And now that that's in place, now I can grab my stamp and seal to put this where I need it to go on my crumb cake card mat. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to set that aside and pull in our phrase. So again, just a little bit of stamp and seal. Oops, let's actually have that go upright. There we go. And before we actually add the dimensionals, There we go. I'm going to add two of the smallest rhinestone basic jewels just on either side, just to add that little bit of bling to the card. And one more. There we go. And here are our dimensionals. So just right on the back, just like that. And just like with the glue dot, just peel the paper off the back of your dimensionals. Lay that right on top of your piece of linen thread, just like that. And there we go. So there's our last card for this month's class. And as always, I'm going to share one more alternative using this stamp set. And this one actually uses the coordinating punch. So right now, up until May 3rd, you can actually get the Timeless Tulip stamp set and bundle um, with that bundle discount of 10%. But that's only until May the 3rd. After that, in the new catalog, you have to buy them separately. Uh, but thankfully, they are still sticking around. So these colors are a little bit different. So the color for the card base is Granny Apple Green, so a little brighter than the Pear Pizzazz. And I've paired it with Blackberry Bliss, one of my favorite purples. And as you can see, I punched out a couple of the larger tulips. And then I used a little bit of Wink of Stella glitter brush just to highlight the edges, the seams on um, the tulips. And then... There's our phrase with a little bit of a banner. Super cute. Hope you guys enjoyed the cards. Thanks so much for joining me for this month's Stampin' Jammies online card class featuring the Timeless Tulip stamp set. I hope you've enjoyed this month's cards and next month for the month of May, I'm gonna be featuring the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. 
And if you want to get in on the June Stampin' Jammies online card class, we're going to be featuring the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set. And so the full class kit is only $70 and you have until May 12th to, to sign up. The full class includes the stamp set, an ink pad, along with some of the Sand and Sea Designer series paper, along with all the supplies you'll need for the four cards for that month. I'll email you all the links each week so you can follow along whenever you get the chance and just curl up in your jammies once you're ready to get stamping. So you can email me any questions about any of my classes at inspirationwithteresa at gmail.com. You can also check out all the details about these and some of my other classes on my blog at inspirationcards.com. I also have lots of projects and things that I share in my Facebook page, so check that out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.